If there is one name in vintage cast iron cookware that antique vendors and collectors go crazy for, it's the Griswold Company of Erie, Pennsylvania. You can find Griswold cast iron on eBay and just about any antique mall across the country, and it's always selling for an outrageous sky-high price. Is it worth it? Folks lucky enough to own and use Griswold cast iron will almost certainly say yes. Griswold is known as one of the finest quality brands of cast iron ever made. Their pans are always very thin and light and polished smooth with a glass-like surface. And cooking in a Griswold pan is a wonderful experience. Griswold produced their pans for over 60 years, and there are different marks that help us estimate the age of a pan. But these days, antique vendors will only say, it's a Griswold, and mark it with a ridiculous price. The Selden Griswold Manufacturing Company was founded in 1865 and began making cast iron cookware in the 1870s. Griswold pieces from the 19th century are rare, especially because they didn't have the Griswold name. These pans were labeled as Erie, after the city where the Griswold foundry was located until the early 1900s. Erie cast iron skillets have all the trademarks of a Griswold pan. They were exceptionally well made, very light, and have incredibly smooth cooking surfaces. The Wagner and Griswold Society has a document online that has a very detailed guide to identifying Erie skillets, including the rare and extremely valuable Erie spider skillet. This piece is considered one of the holy grails of cast iron collecting, and it's the cast iron equivalent of owning Fantastic Four number one. By the way, if you come across an antique pan that looks like this, it wasn't made by Griswold, but it's not a counterfeit either. A number of small foundries and even individual people use discarded and used Griswold patterns to make molds for their own cast iron pans, and the Wapak Foundry of Ohio was perhaps the most famous for doing this. So these aren't Griswold pans, but they're still interesting pans to own and use. In the early 1900s, Griswold began putting their company name onto their cast iron pans, and after a very brief period of making some rare pans with the name Griswold's Erie, they introduced the logo that went on to become the most famous and prestigious symbol of vintage cast iron, the Griswold Cross logo. The first version of this cross is called the Slant logo because the Griswold name was printed in this italic or curved font style. At first, this design had the Erie name printed underneath, but then it switched to the circular logo surrounding the cross, which would stay for nearly the next 30 years. Collectors and vendors who know the different Griswold logos consider the slant logo the most valuable of Griswold's marked pans, but Griswold was in its prime during this period, and it was here they set a standard for cast iron cookware that few manufacturers have been able to match, either back then or today. From the 1920s through the 1930s, Griswold cast iron pans used their most famous marking, the large block logo. The slant logo was replaced with bold block lettering, and they even used this block lettering style for the size number on top of the handle. This makes a Griswold pan instantly recognizable, even if the bottom is covered in buildup and gunk. Griswold lids are also easy to spot because of the solid circular rings on the underside of the lid. Large logo Griswold pans are the most common and popular of their cast iron, and the number 4 size is considered the rarest and most valuable of this series. This was the height of Griswold's popularity, because in the 1930s they were hit by the Great Depression, and they started having company problems in the 1930s and onward. But more importantly, these pans are still prized and used in many kitchens across the country today. In the 1940s, company problems and labor problems reached the point where the Griswold family sold the company to investors and they were no longer involved with cast iron. This may be why collectors consider the small logo Griswold pan from the 1940s and 1950s to be inferior to the older pans. However, these pans are still high quality cast iron pans and like all Griswold pans, they're very light and smooth and some of these small logo pans have a groove in the center of the handle, while others do not. Small logo Griswold pans may not be in the same class as the earlier pans, but they're still highly desirable because of the Griswold name. 
Despite the company difficulty, Griswold continued producing high-quality cookware until they were bought out completely in 1957 and the Griswold Iron Foundry closed at the end of the year. Also during the 1930s and 1940s, Griswold made a series of unmarked cast iron pans without their logo, which were sold at discount retailers. These pans had handles that were shaped differently from a typical Griswold, and they all had size numbers and model numbers in an italic style font design. These unmarked pans were known as the Iron Mountain series, while they also produced a series of Puritan skillets for Sears Roebuck, along with another pan marked as Merit. And another pan in the series was marked Good Health, with a round hanging hole in the handle. In 1957, the Griswold Company was sold to McGraw Edison, then their competitors Wagner bought them, then both companies were sold to Textron in 1959. The Griswold foundry was closed, and both Griswold and Wagner cast iron were made at the Wagner foundry in Sydney, Ohio. While Griswold pans of the 1960s were still excellent for cooking, they resembled Wagner pans more than the old Griswold design, and some pans even had both the Griswold and Wagner name. These pans didn't say Erie because they were made at the Wagner foundry. Collectors consider these pans less desirable than the original Griswold pans, but they're still excellent for use in the kitchen. But then Wagner was sold to General Housewares in 1969, and while Wagner continued making cast iron all the way through the 1990s, the Griswold name was phased out, and by the 1970s, the legendary name Griswold cast iron was finished. Today, the Griswold and Wagner brands are owned by a holding company that isn't very trustworthy, and nothing has happened involving Griswold cast iron since the Wagner foundry closed for good in 1999. But the 2010s saw a renaissance in cast iron cookware, and vintage Griswold cast iron pieces have skyrocketed in value and price over the last decade. Brand new USA cast iron manufacturers have worked to continue the legacy begun by Griswold cast iron, and they're producing pans that share the same traits as vintage Griswold. They're smooth, some of them are very thin and light, and all of these new companies were started because their founders used and loved vintage cast iron cookware, especially Griswold. So while Griswold cast iron is gone, it's not forgotten. And those of us fortunate to own and use vintage Griswold cast iron can know that we're using a piece of American history, a special series of pans that were made to last forever. And as long as we continue enjoying our Griswold cast iron pans, then their heritage may indeed be with us forever. <laughs>